What's up guys, Nick here, and we are back with another episode. Today I'm going to be going over with you guys how to repot, retransplant plants that you plan on eventually using in your vivariums. So today we have an alocasia poly. Also known as the elephant ear, they get fairly large, so they do well on vivariums to a certain extent. Um, and it's got nice, broad, thick leaves, nice, broad stems. Um, so we're going to be transplanting this. I probably should have done this a while ago, but I haven't had any use for it. I've just purchased it and planned on using it eventually. It just hasn't happened yet. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to transplant this guy. Be right back. So you're going to want, obviously, your plant to start off with. We're going to be doing this one. And you're going to want a couple containers, as well as some distilled or spring water. First pot you're going to want to do is you're going to want to de-root it. And I'm pretty sure these are bulbs. Where is the camera lens? Pretty sure these are new bulbs, so these are going to get planted back in. I want to say there was two of them. I might be missing the other one. Oh, there it is. But we got some nice root structure here. Unfortunately, you're going to break it all up. Yeah. This is a plant I bought a couple months ago, and it's been doing really well on top of Hades enclosure, right by a sun, uh, right by a window. Um, but it has started to outgrow the pot. So it's time to give it a new an upgrade. There's another one. And those things that I'm pulling off, like I said, I want to say they're seed pods. I could be wrong, but we're going to plant them and see what happens. There's a bunch of them. Wow. Super cool. If you guys, if you guys know what these little things are, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're pods. Leave a comment down below what you think you are if you're positive that they're the pods. Now, I would definitely recommend doing this outside. It's a little messy. Woo wee! Gonna have all sorts of them. Nice score. Some of the bigger ones look really good too. Oh, there's another one. Since the, I'm finding all these, I'm probably going to go through all the soil again to see if I can't find any more. What you want to do with the roots, you kind of want to feel uh, the, the dirt out. I don't know if that's the, the correct term, but just kind of move your fingers around to get some of the dirt off of the, the more sensitive roots. And I know it's been a while since I put out a video. I am sorry for that, guys. Uh, my girlfriend and I were trying to find a new house, but unfortunately that all fell through. Um, so we're hoping to move next year. Okay, put that in there. I think that's all of the seed pods. Nope. I've never had an alocasia poly that was this good. I've had them before, but they just ended up dying. Um, where'd that container go? I think I still have the container. Yes. Here is the pod before. It hasn't done anything since, which is kind of sad, but that's how big it was. I'm going to see if I can't plant this one with the rest of them. See what happens. 
This is where the water comes in handy. We're going to try to get as much of the dirt and the fertilizer as we can off the roots and we're going to let it sit in there for about 10 minutes. So I will come back when this is all set up. So it has been about 10 minutes with the roots soaking in the water. The, uh, the two bulbs actually split, which was, it was inevitable, but it makes it a lot easier to work with. Next up, we have our pot. Yes, it is dirty. I used it for something else. The, the soils in it is so good that everything um, is was healthy and uh, so don't have to worry too much about that. But here we got our substrate. This is a jungle mix, forest floor, as well as play sand mixture. Lots of lots of nice aeration and lots of good draining soil. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up about to here and then we're gonna try to plant it. We're gonna fill it up a little bit more than halfway and then we're gonna plant the, the bulbs and the plants in there. Sometimes you need to go try and cut the spells myself. grown indoors they should need that and this one's gonna go right there actually going to take this bulb, the previous one, plant that in here as well, right in the center. See what happens with that one. And fill it up a little more. And raise this guy. And then we're going to go ahead and plant all these little bulbs. And fun fact about these guys, you want to plant this side down. You want to plant the uh, non-pointed, non-stemmed side down. So if you want to point the point down cradle is standing up.
just going to pop it off. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.